So one of the most interesting things of the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom toy line was the new gimmick that was included with all of these toys. Usually Hasbro wants to include trading cards or posters or like the build the map kind of thing that they did with Earthrise with the puzzle pieces. This time around, they revealed to us that we were going to be getting the Golden Disc Card Destiny Peel to Reveal trading card gimmick. And what that essentially was is you got one of four random trading cards a wave, and each one of these four random trading cards would be of a character, and when you peel back the, I guess, very foil kind of surface, it would reveal a alternate destiny for that character. Now, all of us who got the advanced Hasbro gift boxes in the mail that pretty much had all of Wave 1 included, packaged in all of those Wave 1 stuff, if it was a deluxe, Voyager, or leader class, we got one of these trading cards. And we peeled back these trading cards. And again, random, so some people might not get a full set. Some people will. And we had these alternate destinies. Now, these alternate destinies, I guess they refer to the alternate destiny of whatever the Netflix series will tell us. Because some of these alternate destinies are kind of what destiny is intended for it, and I'll get into that in a moment. But I think this is pretty much a spoiler in a lot of ways for what the Kingdom series on Netflix or Chapter 3, when we get to that, will contain. So if you don't want any spoilers, if you want to avoid spoilers and all this kind of stuff, maybe skip this video. That's what I'm probably getting at. I'm not I'm like the thing with these cards is that they have the spoiler or the alternate destiny, whatever, uh, written Cybertronian. So lucky for you, you could close this video if you want and you, you won't have to worry too much about it. But let's jump into that. So when you peel back, you peel to reveal the alternate destinies, you get what will potentially be what they won't do in the Kingdom series and what would have probably happened in an alternate future. So let's start with Black Arachnia. You peel back hers and you see her leading a whole bunch of Predacons in the back there. But, you know, you see what looks like Dinobot and Scorponok and Waspinator, which is actually some of the art that's present on her box art. But the translation of the Cybertronian sa says there that she becomes a Maximal. So I guess uh, maybe this image is probably showing her walking away from the Predacons and becoming a Maximal. Of course, this would be what she would ultimately in the end become in Season 2 of Beast Wars. But I guess in Kingdom, she stays true to herself and actually stays as a Predacon in the Kingdom story. So in one alternate future, according to this card, she becomes a Maximal. Hmm. Next one is Dinobot. Uh, you peel back Dinobot and it shows him leading a crew of both Maximals and Predacons. You see Cheetor there, you see Black Arachnia, you see Scorponok, you see Air Razor. And the Cybertronian translates to leads the United Factions. This one's interesting because it's almost like... You know, in one alternate future, he defeats Optimus Primal, I guess in the second episode of Beast Wars Season 1, Beast Wars Part 2, and uh, leads the Maximals himself to victory, I guess. I don't know. It's a, that's an interesting one, because that's not what actually happens in our actual continuity of the Beast Wars story. We all know what happened to Dinobot. Rest in peace, best character in the show. Um, but at the same time this isn't going to reflect what probably happens in the show either because it's an alternate destiny. So, hmm, interesting. Next one we have is Optimus Prime. This one's almost not a shocker. Guess what his alternate destiny is? He's gonna die. It says here, dies in battle. Uh, he dies in battle, but it shows him here floating in space. I wonder if this is kind of a throwback to what we've seen already with the Amazon exclusive toy, the dead Optimus Prime toy. Uh, or as it was called, Alternate Universe Optimus Prime. I wonder if it's just tied to that. And it's just like, hey, uh, you know, in the Earthrise um, toy line, there was an alternate, you know, Destiny Optimus Prime toy, and here we're kind of reflecting that. Because, I mean, we all know how Prime dies in the true continuity of G1, where he dies at Autobot City on the table. And uh, 
this is a different one. This one's in space. This is almost kind of like like how you know Unicron, not Unicron, but like how Galvatron was born through Megatron. Even though Megatron technically didn't die, he was just kind of reformatted. But either way, that's an interesting one, but not too much of a surprise. And even even more funny is the next and final one here, which is the Autobot Arc. Now you peel to reveal back, and it says here the Autobot Arc is. The Autobots Awaken in 1984. So I guess that is in destiny to happen because we already know in Kingdom, the Autobots, they don't crash into Mount St. Hillary. They crash on top of the mountain or on top of the volcano in this case. And uh, they awaken during the Beast Wars. So in the alternate destiny, according to this trading card, they awaken 1984 and Generation 1 actually happens. So... Very interesting, these cards. Again, they're randomized, and they, according to Hasbro, there's going to... I believe it was 16, they said, in total in their press release. So that means four waves of trading cards, 16 in total. Uh, so here we go, Black Arachnia, Dinobot, Optimus Prime, and the Ark. Who knows what the next wave will be? Maybe it'll be like uh, Cheetor, Beast Wars, Megatron. Maybe one of even the fossilizers will get a Destiny and an alternate Destiny. I don't know. I'd probably not. They'll probably stick to... Uh, known characters where we know their futures but this should be very interesting i like it it's a fun little gimmick it adds a little more flavor and interest to the pack-in product kind of like what they did with the power of the primes where each character had like a connection with one of the primes and it led to an extra layer of intrigue where you could have like quintus with like say one of the characters and it led to like you know quintus heals this character and it would be different for everyone so it's kind of cool too with this thing also and, you know, the randomization thing leads to collectability and trading among the fans. So that's a nice, cool little touch, too. I dig it. It's really cool. What I found um, fascinating was I believe that they originally said that there'd be multiple destinies for each character. But I maybe I just misheard that, you know, like maybe like just it's just the one alternate destiny as opposed to like, you know, it would be Black Arachnia joins the Maximals. Another card is Black Arachnia stays with a Predacon. Another card is uh, Black Arachnia becomes part of the Valk. I thought they would kind of do something like that, but instead it's just, I guess, the one alternate destiny. According to all the other individuals who have gotten these in the mail from Hasbro and also opened them up and peeled to reveal. So yeah, this is fun. This is cool. Um, I'm really curious to see what else we get. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, what you think of these guys. These are pretty cool. And again, reminder... We got a YouTube live stream tonight. It's going to be pretty hype because of all the stuff that we've been talking about over the past 48 hours. So it's going to be really fun, really cool. So 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday night, tonight, tonight. It's going to be really hype. Um, a lot of cool stuff. So November 21st, tonight. Let's see uh, what we could uh, discuss about all this craziness with Kingdom. And, uh, man... I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Beast Wars hype, man. Beast Wars hype. <laughs>